Hello guys, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Applications Tutorial. I'm glad you're here, I'm glad you made it. Ah, this is great. I'm so happy. Um, welcome to the first episode. Um, so um, we are going to have um, our online series um, across various social media platforms, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram and the likes. Um, so uh, we get to um, bring um, the tutorial series closer to your doorstep, um, just uh, the click of a button away from um, your phones and um, mobile devices. Um, this is great. I'm happy you're here. Um, this is going to be one of the best um, online tutorial sessions you'll ever see on, um, on, on, on social media because you're going to make it um, interactive. We're gonna make it innovative or bring different things on board that'll make it unique and make it exciting to you our viewers. So I'm glad um you are part of it and I'm sure you can tell your friends and um colleagues also to be a part of it. Um you can see the um, subscribe button, you can just click so you get notifications of our new episode. Um, this episode is gonna be um introduction and so you get to know what and what um this is all about and why you are here. Also, you get to meet the dynamics guy. So I'm glad you're here. I know you have anticipated long enough. So let's get right to it. This is going to be a very, very exciting tutorial series because it's going to be one of the best you ever see online. Um, this is bored out of the need um, where I was still learning um, a couple of years ago. Um, trying to learn the Microsoft Dynamics 365 um, application and I learned to I got to know that there is not too much resources in terms of video um, tutorials online um, because um, more most of them are actually theoretical and you don't get to see the interaction um, with the application and get to know what functionality does what and which area does what things so um, this tutorial is going to bridge this gap and it's going to give you so much insight into what uh, Microsoft Dynamics 3 Strive Finance and Operations application does and how it works. Function of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations course Autant with a first degree in Economics. He possesses several professional years of experience on Microsoft Dynamics application, ranging from Navision Business Central to Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. He is also knowledgeable about different accounting operations and scenarios. Additional software application knowledge include Power Apps, SharePoint, among many others. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Dynamics Guy. This online tutorial series dwells solely on the functionality of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Each episode focuses on core functionalities within each model. Frequently asked questions relating to each episode will be answered on our social media platforms. Our portfolio, our mission is so simple to simplify the functional areas of Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operations application to millions of users. Our vision is to serve as a go-to resource, of course one of the go-to resources because we have many, for particular education and the interaction with Microsoft Dynamics 365 finance and operations applications. Now that you know about us, um, this episode focuses mainly on the introduction so you get to know the dynamics guy and why we are here. Um, next episode, which is um, episode two, will focus on um, the introduction to the application itself, the general overview, what Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations is all about, navigating through the environment, the user interface elements, and configuring users, look at user options, changing session data, time and zone, and among others. From the episode three as well, would focus on continuation of the general overview. We'll be looking at personalization, how to change local images, um, change company logo, uh, personalize um, the user interface, advanced filtering, working with custom fields, 
as well as managing the features in the environment. So this would be our next um, good plan for the next three episodes. I hope you stay tuned. You can keep on the subscribe subscribe button to get notifications of our new episodes. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad that you're here to stay. They're gonna make this exciting and I'll show you the next episode will be something that you're gonna learn from. Don't go away, stay here.